Well, we just completed our first year of the Director's Leadership Program, and we could not be happier with the residents. It's been a great experience. It's been a great honor. Something that will go down in my personal career history as a definite high point. Probably one of the greatest experiences in my career I've ever had. It has boosted my confidence and it's reinvigorated my career. I feel blessed and, and very lucky to have had this opportunity. I appreciate the director, the deputy director, and all the people who have been involved in putting this together. This has got to be clearly in the top five experiences through all of the years. It's very special, it's very different. I am thrilled the director has decided to do a program like this. The objective really is to enhance the services of the AO to the courts. That's why we exist. Our residents are on the front lines of action uh, in the courts, and they bring very valuable perspective and vision as to what is needed on the long-term projects. In just one year's time, we were able to expedite uh, projects that have been lingering for upwards of five years. I'm David Cruz, I'm the Clerk of Court in the Northern District of Mississippi from the United States District Court. HSPD 12 is a presidential directive to ensure the physical security of all federal employees in all federal buildings. It's really no sport for the short-winded trying to knit together all the elements of, of this program. We've made great strides, made great headway to lay the basics and all the logistics for it, which over time will ripple out to courts across the country and here at the AO. It took many executive branch agencies five and six years to implement this program or to even begin implementing this program. David brought us to a point where and now we can hand that off to someone to help us go through the implementation phases of this initiative. Actually getting the cards in the hands of judiciary employees, all 32,000 of them throughout the country. We are so grateful for the work that he did here. I'm Vanessa Lanton, I'm the Director's Leadership Resident, Western District of Tennessee Bankruptcy Court. The project that I'm working on is the Case Management Manual for Bankruptcy Judges. I was brought here to help move that forward. We're at the point now where we've got the majority of our draft done. I've also been working in the Bankruptcy Judges Division, tracking some legislation, working with the Office of Legislative Affairs on some pretty important pieces of legislation in regards to judgeships, uh, financial overhaul, regulatory. Um, type legislation. In legislation, she was instrumental in drafting a letter uh, for Director Duff's signature expressing the Judicial Conference's policy. It was a letter responding to an inquiry from a senator and what she drafted in that letter and the ideas and points she made actually influenced the legislation to the benefit of the bankruptcy system. Plus her contributions on the case management manual were crucial at this time when we're getting chapters finished and posted to the website. We're very pleased with her and her work. It's been a thrill and a pleasure to have her with us. My name is Allison Thielfield, Supervisory Pretrial Service Officer in the Central District of California. I helped develop the certification course for the risk assessment tool. I'm a member of the pretrial release team that goes out to various districts to make recommendations and suggestions for improving their release rates. The risk assessment tool will aid the officers in making recommendations to the court. It doesn't take away from their clinical judgment or their professional judgment, but it allows for more standardized recommendations throughout the system. Allison couldn't have come at a better time to our directorate. It's a really big deal to implement an assessment like this nationally. We've never had one in the whole pretrial services history, and it is an opportunity to put some consistency into the recommendations that officers make for judges. By having Allison with us on this program, we've been able to do a lot more in terms of quantity of work and training at a much quicker pace. But probably equally importantly, Allison brought to us her recent experience as a supervisor in the Central District of California. So we know that what we're doing is targeted to the right folks. We're using language that people understand. My name is Terry Dunn. I'm the clerk of the Bankruptcy Court in Oregon. I think we've done some very good work and I feel very comfortable with the status of especially the two main projects. The first one is the EPA assessment. That's the study of PACER and the party case index and what can be done to possibly improve it. And that's been working with all our various users 
to try to get their input and we along the way gathered input with regard to the next generation of CMECF for additional stakeholders which leads into the second project and that's getting the functional requirements group organized. Terry led the effort for the judiciary. We had already put the contract in place, but he worked directly with the contractors and the stakeholders to develop the questionnaires, to review all of the work that was being done. His contribution was critical, and being here was critical as well because he was able to engage with a lot of the stakeholders who come through Washington. His impact will be at least a decade long in both the public access program as well as the next generation of CMECF. These two key pieces of work are what are going to largely define how we move forward into the future. DLP is really to enhance the services of the AO with the judiciary, but also I think to groom future leaders within the judiciary. As we see the leadership within the federal judiciary mature, it's incumbent upon us to groom the younger generation of those in court administration. Just about 200 yards south of that, all the way to the base of Little Round Top, is the third court. Gettysburg was an extraordinary uh, seminar. I like the way they tether leadership lessons to an actual event like that and the swirling cauldron of events of a battle. It made for a really unique um, leadership seminar. Brickings Institute uh, put on a training. It was probably the most rewarding training I've ever been to, the most professional, organized. It really delved into the Constitution and leadership and the contacts I made there were, or I think will be long lasting. The experiences at Gettysburg and in Charlottesville at the Brookings Institute were a good opportunity to exercise our own leadership muscles. These experiences will definitely help build leadership for myself and for the others that took part in the process. I would recommend the program. It's not been without its hitches and the get along. I mean, I've been separated from my family. I've had to work really long hours to handle everything up here and try to accomplish this very complex multidimensional project, but the advantages far outweigh those kind of modest disadvantages. I've gained a new sense of who I am and where I fit in my agency as well as how important it is to move outside of your comfort zone and to experience something different. It's been a lot of fun. I have a four-year-old, so I was able to bring him along, and he gets the benefit of living in the nation's capital for a year. I've been enjoying the city and the surrounding area. There's a lot to do here. It's really been a lot of fun. I've taken full advantage to make this as interesting and rewarding an experience as possible to every museum and historical site and monument, so things I would have never seen had I not been up here for this length of time. The residents here with me have been so supportive. You know, we're able to talk about our different experiences, and I think that's one of the beauties of the program. You're not here by yourself. You have other people here who are experiencing the same things you're experiencing. There's four of us in this first class. The other three are just exceptional people, and it's been wonderful getting to know them. This was a great success the first year. In some respects, the work of the first year's class is not completed. They've been working on projects of a long-term nature, and the second year's class is going to pick right up on some of those projects and continue to make contributions. I'm absolutely thrilled to have done this. There are some really good people up here. There are some really good people in the courts. Together, we're working towards a bigger goal. That symbiotic relationship, that back and forth, is so critical to having a strong judiciary. And I, you know, I, I just really commend uh, the director and his entire team for putting this project together. I've learned so much since I've been here, and I've worked on a lot of different projects that made me more aware of what it really goes on in ops and how much work is put into the policies and procedures. We truly are all in this together and everybody is working hard to make the federal judiciary work at peak performance. That's a great thing, and it bodes well for the judiciary.